Hi everyone and welcome back for another episode in our quest system series. We're near the end now, we've done three of the four objective types and this one we're going to be looking at the objective type of the target, so killing enemies and, uh, and returning back to quests. So I, previous to this video, I have spent some time and put in a uh, character's attack animation and enemies in there too. So I'm going to show you how them being done. Let me just turn off my third person character's damage sphere so you can actually see it properly as you should intend to. So I've got an animation of him attacking. I'll put that in there. Um, don't worry about how to do animation stuff as of yet. I'm, I've skipped that because I want to focus on the quest system itself. There will be another series coming out very shortly which is covering all about how to do animation such as this where you merge a punching animation along with a walking animation. And if I come down here, I've put in some enemies and I've set them up to cardboard men and they will only take damage if I hit them and will die and disappear. Okay, and I've got three of them. So at the moment, they don't do nothing but die. And don't worry, I'm not, as I said, I wanted to focus on the quest system first and foremost. Because you may be shooting a shooter or some other game with different animation or different combat. Um, to cover all the different combat mechanics in this series alone would be another series itself. So we'll do that as a separate series of how to do combat animation and combat mechanics. Uh, but for this one, just want to focus on the quest, okay? So, how to do the killing enemies and retrieving their objectives? Well, it's very much similar as the rest of them. So let's first of all make a quest so we can actually test this out. Um, in fact, I'm just going to edit this uh, pick up flower quest here. So I'm going to change the objective here to kill these darn cardboard monsters. And it's a type of a kill type. And the target is going to be one of these dudes, so I just pick one of them, cobbled man. And I want to kill three of them, that's the number three. Okay, so that's the quest sorted out. Now how do we actually achieve this? Well it works very similar to actually the pickup quest or the flower one in the previous video. So let's go into our quests first and foremost and go into the parent quest. So if I go to my event graph, I've been doing this uh, thing here where I've been binding functions to event dispatches. So let's create another event dispatcher, our last one. And this is going to be killed enemy. And this is going to require one input. So I click on new inputs. And this is going to require an enemy input. And here you want to choose the boolean, uh, the change the type from boolean to the parent type of your enemy class. So the class that is going to be the one that you are taking down. So I'm going to go into enemy there. And we can now drag this in and click bind. Next job is to create the function for this to be bound to. So on the functions, click on the plus new function and go check uh, killed enemy. So when we kill an enemy, it's going to call this event uh, dispatcher and which in turn is going to call this function. Now this function requires one input to match the same as our event dispatcher. So on the inputs, on enemy type, and the enemy we want to test against is there. So as I said, it's going to be mostly the same as what we've done here with the uh, collection type, where we're going through and checking the class of the item that we're putting through. In this case, the enemy. And if it's the right class, then we can go through and do the rest of it. Okay. So check killed. Uh, we're going to um, get the enemy out of here and choose get class. And we want to test that against the objectives and their target. Oh, sorry, we want to get rid of that. Sorry, my bad. We want objectives first. Drag your objectives out and get. And we're going to do a four each for each one of these. The four each will go through each of the objectives, check in their contents. And from their contents, I'm going to break out that objective data and get that target. So after target, 
I'm going to get the class of it and I can compare that to the class of this enemy here so get enemy and then get class again and then we'll compare these two with an equals with that now compared I've got a branch opportunity here so I'm going to hit that up to a branch and connect that up to the for each loop body so nothing new, we've done this last time it's exactly the same so this is now going to be true if we've met an objective that fulfills this criteria if it does then what we're going to do is simply uh, do a count okay so we've got a check collision uh, check collection here what we did here we checked the count of, of our inventory however we can't do that because we've got to keep a running total the running total we're going to catch here is going to be dependent on the enemy that we kill and also we want to make sure because we're not storing it into an inventory or anything like that we're storing it inside the quest itself inside this quest we're going to uh, basically go into our variables and we're going to add a new variable here called current kill count and make that an integer so we're going to compare this value to the value inside our objective data so if let's take a wind back here so we've got the for each loop body breaking the object data out and the target we're taking the class of the target and the class of the enemy that we've just killed if it's the same then we're going to increase our current kill uh, current kill count so set or oh actually we just go get and then increment with the plus plus increment means it will just add one to it and once we've done that we're going to check whether this is equal to the number so come out of here equals and you drag right across number if that is the case then our uh, quest or our objective for is complete will be com uh, will be completed so for that we need to store the array index that we've just found so here I'm going to come out of my array index put to the local variable and I'm going to store that as array index because then at the end of here we're going to a branch and so if the current kill count is equal to in fact I'm going to do equal to or greater than just so we cover our backs like so if this is equal uh, greater than or equal to this will return true meaning that we've killed all the characters we need to do so now we just need to complete that objective and that's exactly what we've done down here so we can go and do exactly that get the objectives array out set array element the index is going to be that array index we've just done that local variable the item we're going to come out and make and objectives are going to come out again because we're going to get a copy of that get the array index and split that open and then hook up all of these except for the is complete and just tick the is complete and the true will now hook up to that set array element and that's it so now we've got to go and bind that function to that killed enemy event dispatcher so drag out of event create event and we'll choose that check killed enemy function and click compile and that's the quest bit done with that done we're now going to go back onto our enemy so whatever your enemy is here you want a death function so this is handling all what happens when they die and when they die I'm going to call out that quest so again exactly like we've done with previous ones no different so if I were to go into say 
my items and look at my elf root we did in the last uh, video uh, not this one so uh, the item parent um, where are we pick up item there we go da, 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 da. we want to do this so get player character cast into the character getting the quest log the list of quests and going through and calling that event dispatcher for each one so it's exactly the same as that so I'm going to go into my enemy parent and when I kill them after I've killed them when I ever die I'm going to go out here oh sorry down there get player character cast to third person character in this case this will be the cast to whatever your player character's actor is uh, the classes uh, get from there their quest log so uh, get quest log get active I don't want to do that get the quests there we go and then for each so go through each of the quests and from there we're going to call killed enemy and the enemy we're going to kill is itself compile it and that's it that's done so let's go into our game and click play and if I go up to my click my quest for my guy over here and click accept and we'll pick up that one kill these down cardboard men uh, click one two three and it probably won't work yes because i forgot to do something so on the third person character no no where is it quest after we killed the enemy well, i'll show you what happens when we click check collected item we need to say this update ui uh variable here so we do exactly the same here local variables update ui make that a boolean always forget to do that uh, set boolean to be true and then when you get completed down here you go to a branch update the UI I believe that was everything uh, update oh no we actually got to do this I forget all the stuff today it's because it's the last one I'm getting too excited there we go so just copy and paste that over all we're doing is saying to update the user interface uh, click play. let's go pick up that quest uh, must turn it on so you can see it and let's kill these three cardboard men there's one there's two Oh, and that one's taking me down before I even killed him. That's an issue. Hmm. Interesting. Let's have a look at bug fix of that. Be right back. Okay, so the issue was something to do with my enemy, not with the quest dialogue, uh, quest system. So don't worry about that too much. Uh, if your enemies work just fine, ignore my, my bugs. But to show you how it works now, so I fixed that problem. I pick up the quest. Okay, so it wasn't a problem with the quest system, it was just a problem with my enemy uh, health. I was actually dealing damage to a corpse, and that was the issue. But I fixed that now. So if you've been using your own enemy, then it should be fine to work with nonetheless. But to show you working my one, I go up to the cardboard men now, kill the first one and kill the second and kill the third and there you go objective complete and that's it 
for all of our objective uh, examples done there are four types of objectives you typically get in game so they're all covered um the next part is now the handing of those handing in of those quests so we've completed the objectives we want to be able to return to the npc interact with them and hand in a quest and similarly we want to make it so that when we interact with them without a complete quest it shows you a waiting message waiting for the quest to be completed thanks for watching if you have any comments or questions please leave them below as i said um there will be a tutorial uh, series about the animation and enemy stuff later in the future um, i didn't want to focus on, on this series because i want to keep this uh tied to the quest system itself but thank you very much for watching head over to patreon.com forward slash uh, ryan Laley right now to support me for at least a dollar to access all the future videos for the quest system as well as other videos too and join our online community on discord thank you very much don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye